Okay, so you've booked into your first Do3 open water swim session. So this video is all about what you need to know to get most out of your session. Things you should do, things you shouldn't do, things you need to bring, all the kind of stuff that you should need. So watch the video and you should be absolutely ready to go. Let's get into it. Okay, when you first arrive at Compton Verney, please first of all don't arrive too soon. Uh, unfortunately, because of social distancing, we can't have too many people congregating. Um, when you arrive in the car park, park in the first car park on the right hand side as you enter the Compton Verney estate. Um, start filling up from there. If we need to use other car parks then we will, but uh, that's the one you need to use first of all. Please make sure you arrive swim ready because there's no changing facilities at Compton Verney and also um, we need to try and keep people apart um, so that helps, it helps, with, helps with that situation as well. So you can arrive in your swimsuit or if you really want to swim with your, arrive with your um, wetsuit on you can. Clearly put some clothing over the top and then make your way up to the actual booking in area, the check in area. When you're ready walk to the gate to the left of the welcome centre, it should be unlocked and just follow the signs. And do not arrive at the check-in area earlier than 15 minutes before your swim start. Again, this is just to stop the numbers building up to, uh, to a too, too much of a high level. Okay, once you're on the estate and through the gates, start making your way towards the check-in desk. Again, think about your social distancing. Try and keep a couple of metres or so between, uh, between you and the other people. Um, follow the big bright green do three signs. You shouldn't be able to miss them down to the check-in desk. Once you join the check-in desk, start the queue, join the queue uh, and wait to get to check-in. So when you arrive at the check-in desk, please be patient while we check everybody in. The COVID procedures we have in place have, have caused us to slow things down quite a bit. Um, at the desk, scan your Do3 swim card um, and you will need to pay your £10 cash registration fee on your first visit. This fee is for your, so say for your registration and also so you get your swim card. Um, obviously, once you have that, you don't need to pay that anymore. And next time, you will be able to scan and go straight into swim. And this fee applies to all swimmers, even trial swimmers and children. If you're anxious, nervous, or it's your first time, please mention this to the check-in staff. What they can do is they can arrange for someone to keep a closer eye on you, or maybe arrange for one of the, uh, the coaches to come and have a chat to you before you swim. We often take photos, videos, and even fly the drone over the lake, so please inform the check-in staff if you're not happy for this, to, for this to take place, or you don't want your photograph to be taken. If you haven't got a bright swim hat with you or you need a tow float, this is your chance to buy one. Hats are £6 and tow floats vary from £16.50 to £27 and they can also be hired for £2. So now it's time to get yourself ready to swim. Once you've checked in, you can prepare yourself to get into the water, remove your outer clothing and place all of your belongings in your bag. Place your bag in the red or blue bag drop area as directed. So start to queue at the green start flag. Do not enter the water until the Do3 staff member has asked you to. Also listen to the briefing given by the Do3 staff. You'll be required to do a competency swim on your first visit. So now's the time to get into the water. When instructed to do so, start to get into the water, but be careful and be patient. There is rubber massing under the surface of the water on the, on the floor of the lake to protect your feet, but still be careful with your footing. Unless you've been told otherwise, you can start your competency swim. So the competency swim, first of all, don't worry. It's not a test or anything like that. It's just for us to see how you move through the water and to make sure that you and the staff, the Do3 staff are also happy that uh, you can swim um, with safety in the lake. So you'll be asked to swim across the narrow section of the lake directly opposite the entry point. Take your time, there's no hurry. Don't worry about the fact there's other people around, just do your own thing and look after yourself. Uh, once at the other side, about 20 meters, you'll be asked to roll on your back and raise one arm in the air. And this is purely to demonstrate that you know what you need to do if you need help in the water, because that's what you should do, roll on your back 
to stay calm and raise a hand in the air so that the safety staff can see you. Once you've done that, then swim back to the start. If the D3 staff member observing you is happy with your ability, you'll be told to start your swim. If not, you may be asked to leave the water and speak to a staff member about what to do next, but don't worry about this, we're genuinely there to help you and not to embarrass you. After all, we all started somewhere. So now it's time to swim. You'll swim anti-clockwise, keeping the big yellow sighting buoys to your left. There are two loops available. One is 600 meters, and the shorter one is around about 250 meters. You can swim until you're instructed to by a member of Do3 staff, or sooner if you prefer. So at the end of the session, a Do3 staff member in a kayak will signal to you that it's time for you to make your way out of the lake. You can take breaks, but you must stay in the water, and remember to socially distance yourself from others. Also, just so as you're aware, we will provide a swim workout to do if you're unsure of how to spend your time in the water. There's nothing worse than spending your time swimming around not quite knowing what you should be doing or having any structure. So we'll have a whiteboard at poolside with a suggested workout on it for you. Okay, so some more important notes that you should be aware of. You can only enter and exit the lake at designated points. Do not enter the water unless you've checked in to swim and have been authorised to do so by a member of staff. When you leave the water, you must check out and do not swim beyond your time slot. If you have back-to-back -back slots, you need to leave the water and get in, but don't worry, we can arrange this quickly for you. Okay, so leaving the lake. Again, be careful and be patient. There will be other people getting out alongside you, but just take your time and try and stay safe. Collect your bag and check out as quickly as you can. And uh, don't forget there's tea, coffee, and even cake available to purchase straight after your swim. Leaving the venue, we're sorry, but due to the COVID restrictions, we can't allow groups to congregate. So please leave the site as quickly as you can. We're really sorry about this, as we think this is the best bit about open water swimming, the camaraderie, the support, the mixing, the chatting, the having fun in the sun, and hopefully we can relax this as soon as we possibly can. Some essential things you need to know. You must wear a brightly coloured swim hat, and again you can buy these from us for £6 at check-in. You must wear a tow float if swimming non-wetsuit, and we sell and hire tow floats. You must check in and out at the start and the end of every session. Some things you shouldn't do. You must not attend a session without booking in first. And you must not swim at Compton Verney outside of official Do3 swim sessions. Wetsuits are compulsory for children under 16 and wetsuits are also highly recommended for weaker swimmers. So if you're a bit concerned about your ability, try and swim with a wetsuit on. Wetsuits are optional for competent swimmers when the water is over 16 degrees. Toe floats are compulsory for children under 16. But don't worry, we have them on hand and we will lend them to the children free of charge. Toe floats may also to be given to anyone we identify as weaker swimmers in the competency test. But don't worry, this won't be embarrassing to you. Strong swimmers often use toe floats too. So children. Children under 16 must be accompanied by an appropriate adult and they need to be close by and on site, not necessarily in the water, just close enough to be able to get hold of you if there's a problem and we need to speak to you. The children must also pass the competency test wear a wetsuit and have a tow float. Children under 12 can only swim if previously agreed by do three. And this means you've got to contact us before you book in so we can have a chat to you about it. If they're allowed in, they must wear a wetsuit and they must have a tow float and the appropriate adult actually must swim with them. And that means alongside them.
So I think that's covered most things. Of course, if you have any more questions, then feel free to get in touch. You can also speak to staff on the day as well. Um, but that's it. Hopefully that provides all the information you need. Now get yourself booked in, get yourself to the lake, and we'll see you, uh, we'll see you down there. Bye-bye.